guys, what's up? It's your boyfriend 12 back with another YouTube video for you guys on the channel. Today's video is going to be us taking a look at the three new signature signing cards that have just dropped in the FIFA 22 Armor team. So I suggest without further ado, we get right into the video. The three cards that have just dropped newly into the game are as following. Llorente, Ruben Diaz, and Edward Mendy. We're going to have a look at Edward Mendy first because this card looks insane. I'm going to quickly find him. We go special. Here we go. Chelsea goalkeeper, obviously. Probably one of the best goalkeepers in the world right now. I mean, the, the guy, I don't know where he transferred from. If you guys know where he uh, transferred from before he actually moved to Chelsea, that'd be nice if you could let, let me know in the comments. But um, yeah, the card looks nuts. Like, based on the goalkeeper cards, 88 diving, 90 reflexes, 88 handling, uh, 82 kicking and 88 positioning that card is going to be op i mean right now on the market it's like one 120k um i'd say this card's probably going to end up like high 50s maybe at his lowest probably mid 40s but k wise obviously let me know in the comments down below if you guys agree with me on that but it's it's such a good looking card based on like the card design as well like this card design is one of my favorite card designs we've seen so far in people 22 so to pair it up with such a good goalkeeper, which I'd love to have at United, like don't get me wrong, we've got David De Gea and Dean Henderson, which are both in, in themselves great goalkeepers, but they don't touch Edward Mendy in my opinion, like they just don't. And we've got two more now, he's coming down to 110. Like I said, I reckon he's gonna max out like high 50Ks. Uh, so yeah, let's get into the next card. Next card is Marcos Llorente Moreno. Obviously you guys can see high medium work rates, three star uh, skill moves, four star weak foot, uh, six foot tall. You guys already know how it would be his base card was, but this card is on a different level. It's got really good pace, like 87 acceleration, 91 sprint speed, 82 finish with 85 composure. The passing is on point with 88 short passing, 85 long passing. We've got 84 interceptions. We've got 91 stamina. We've got a, a, a incredible agility and balance for a central midfielder or box to box or even a CDM card. Reactions are insane, ball control are insane. Like the whole card just looks beautiful. Um, if there was one on the market, because I did try to search him up in a, a minute ago, if there was one on the market, I'd say this could be a card that's like three, four, five hundred K quite easily. Um, I'm gonna quickly have another look right now if there is one on the market. No, there's not one on the market still, but the card looks absolutely insane like if we if we have another quick look at it like it's b dribble as well based on cpu ai but the card just looks so nice to the point where i'd love to try and build him into my team uh, i'd love to try and pack this card i mean the one thing signing card that i really would like to pack myself would probably be clarson i think it's or carlson the um air divisi player the left winger but yeah this card is on a different level and trust me if you guys can afford him obviously wait for his price to stagnate a bit obviously wait for him to lower in price before purchasing him because if you buy him off the hype you're gonna just lose so many coins whereas if you guys wait give it maybe an hour or two let his price just like kind of find its level on the market so it kind of balances out and then just kind of go from there we're going to try one more time to quickly find him on the market but oh there's one here 1.4 mil price cap there you go there's one here with a bit of 111k so yeah you, like i said this card is a very expensive card and i suggest like if you guys can afford him afford him but don't pay over the odds last card for the video Ruben Diaz, his card, 89 overall, 76 pace, 72 dribbling, 42 in night defending, 70 passing, and 90 physicality. Manchester City midfielder, obviously moved from, I want to say Benfica, but I could be wrong, uh, a season and a half, two seasons ago. Uh, played insanely well for Manchester City uh, since joining, and this card again. The dynamic on this card is really good. Um, I don't know where EA found this dynamic image, but it's very nice. I'm a big fan. And obviously the card is insane. 90 stamina, 83 jumping, 87 interceptions. Like the defensive stats are really good. The reaction is insane. The ball control is very good for a centre back at 78. Composure is very good, so you don't have to worry of him just like putting a foot into a tackle and it, you potentially giving away a penalty. Even though that is a thing in this game, which make, discombobulates me so much. But uh, he's shot power 78, short passing, long passing, very, very, very good for a centre back. Like to the point where it's it's almost through the, to the moon. Like 87 short, 80 long, which is insane. Acceleration, sprint speed, very good. If you slap a shadow on this card, I reckon you're you're going to be doing well. Either for me, it'd be a shadow or a anchor. Obviously, let me know in the comments down below which one you'd like to prefer, uh, like prefer to put on that card. But one of those two would probably work, in my opinion. But the card's like what 370k right now on the market. Let me just quickly check if there's any more. Uh, so obviously there are a couple more, but yeah, 370k right now. Um, I suggest that again, if you guys want to get him, I reckon this price is going to balance out at around 200k, maybe 250. Um, 
for the rest of today and then maybe tomorrow go down to say high 190s to maybe 150k because i don't see this card really staying at its price for a very long time uh because of obviously a supply and b the type of card it is because obviously we're going to be rolling into our next promo very very soon which i hope will be footmas but obviously if there's another promo before that let me know in the comments but yeah with that being said that is going to do that is going to do it for the video if you guys have enjoyed this video please hit the like button subscribe already let me know in the comments down below which one of these three mini release cards you guys would love to get into your team and yeah like comment subscribe i'll see you guys in my next one very soon peace